Matt Holmes here with University of Indianapolis. Men's and women's swimming and diving coach Gary Kincaid, the Greyhounds, all set to head down to Texas this weekend for the 2012 NCAA Championships. And Coach, a successful trip, I think, to the GLIAC Championship. Both your teams finished third. Uh, we'll get into kind of some of the particulars of the national championships in a moment, but just your thoughts on how your team did a couple of weeks ago up in Grand Rapids at your conference championship. We were very pleased as a co-host. You know, there are a lot of extra duties than just uh, being a coach on deck, but uh, the administration that we took along with us and the administration that came down from Northern Michigan really helped out a lot and took that responsibility away from both Heidi and I. So it, uh, it left us do the kind of things that we needed to do for the meet, and that's, that's be coaches. Uh, I, I was very very pleased with our successes. Uh, we've been perennially fourth place in both men and women for the last two, three, maybe even four years. And uh, this year we moved up to third, and that was a that to me is a big big step forward because uh, we have one of the toughest, if not the toughest, Division II conference in the country. And uh, a lot of the national champions have been and probably will come out of our conference championship. So it's going to be uh, uh, it's going to be an interesting nationals to watch to see how well we do. And for instance, in the men's 200 butterfly, uh, two people from our conference are seated first and third. And, uh, and then the other guy from our conference, who's Daniel from, uh, from our team, also is probably seated in the top six in the 200 fly. So it shows how deep our conference is, and it shows how tough the Nationals are going to be with our conference involved. A lot of outstanding performances from your team at the conference championships. Uh, I think obviously in the forefront of that, Maura Donahue repeated mm -hmm. as the GLIAC Female Swimmer of the Year. What did you think of her performance and kind of what she's continued to do? I know last year she was runner-up in several events down at Nationals. and. You know, her chances going down to Texas again this year and, and what she can do for you down there. It's been a difficult year for Mora. Uh, she's had a lot of injury problem with her shoulders and, uh, in fact, about 95% of her practice is over Christmas break, which, as you know, and many swimming people know, is a very important part of our season. Uh, she did about 95% of the, the practices in kicking. So it's, it's still uh, a work in progress to see how well she does down there. And uh, if, if it comes down to toughness, I know she'll be there. She's a very tough person, but in terms of conditioning, I don't think she's in quite as good a condition as she's been in the past, nor as, as good a condition as she wants to be, or as, as I want her to be. But uh, toughness-wise, she'll be there. And you mentioned the guy's side. You mentioned that 200 fly, Guy Kogel, up there as well in the 100 fly. What do you think about him and some of your other men swimmers who have a chance to do some things and make some noise down in Texas? Well, Guy is a senior this year and actually is a graduate student. He's in our, in our MBA program. He's older and uh, sometimes as they get older they don't get faster. Well, he has gotten faster. Uh, he was in the IM program last year, decided he wanted to, to switch to the sprint program this year and uh, um, seems to have helped him a lot because his best time, lifetime best time in the Toyota Butterfly had been 148 and he breaks through with a 146 at conference this year so um, it was a, a great breakthrough for him, I think a great confidence builder for him and I think he is looking forward to the national championships and trying to make it uh, be a national champion in that Toyota Butterfly. I think he's very excited about it. And also in that event and in the IM, a guy who kind of jumped on the scene, joined you at semester, uh, Daniel Chan out of Brazil, another guy that at least on paper, it looks like he's got a chance to make some noise in Texas as well. I think so too, and I think he is uh, he's learned a lot. Uh, he said the training here was a lot different than what he had down in, in, uh, in Brazil. It was more distance, distance, distance type training. And with Arel being in, his, in Arel's group this year, he has really, or this semester, he has really become a little more specific with his training. And I think uh, maybe a little bit speedier, a little bit uh, faster, a little bit more confident. I think that uh, he's going to do a good job for us. It would have been nice if he had been with us the whole year. I think he'd been really fighting out for a national championship in that 400 I am, and he still could. you got a couple other Brazilians. I know you're counting on Bruno Barbosa on the men's side, Julia Madeira on the women's side. Your thoughts on them going down to Texas? Well, I think our whole team is a very solid team, and I think the, the, really, the really neat thing about our program is that we don't have some individual stars. We have everybody that contributes. And in fact, our women's 200 freestyle relay is seated third or fourth in the 200 freestyle relay. And to me, that's more important because you have depth that really helps out. And our relays, in most cases, are seated higher than some of our and all of our individual people. One of the things when we talked and kind of did this before the season that you really liked this year, you know, was the camaraderie on this team. How much has that helped? I mean, both of your performance at conference and then taking a big group. I think 16 student athletes going and taking a big group that you've got 
a lot of internal support when you get down there to that pool down in Mansfield? Well, I think it helps a lot. You know, and, and uh, when I was at, when I swam at the University of Michigan, I think I really drew on the support of my teammates, and I think that that is something that has been a big part of the program that had been missing prior to this year. I thought it was getting closer and closer to where I wanted to be. It's closer yet this year. I think it can be closer again next year. Uh, but I think that's a big part of it. I think that's something that is really, really evident because right now there's a sign out on the pool deck that had never been there before after conference and it's wishing the, the people, the 16 people that are going to nationals good luck and that's from the rest of the team. And I, I don't remember that happening before or as much and that just shows that there's some solidification of, of the team unity and I think that's going to really help them a lot. One other thing I'd like to mention and be remiss that it's not the first time, but the first time in several years you're taking a diver down to Nationals, you know, and Tyler Offit. Yeah. You know, you've talked to, you know, some people that he's really helped and Avery Schmidt and that diving program and helped bringing yeah. you along there as well. Well, I think what's really interesting about that is the fact that we have had more inquiries about our diving program this year alone compared to the last seven years put together. I mean, it's just really been phenomenal. And we could have as many as six or seven divers next year, and they'll all be either freshmen or sophomores. The sophomores would be Avery and Tyler, and the freshmen would be all of the other ones that would be coming in next year. But I think it's really going to help with the with the overall depth of our program. Uh, we won the Grand Valley dual meet this year with the men simply because Tyler was first and Avery was uh, third in one board and fourth in the other board, which we have never been able to do before. It's usually we're 32 to nothing down before we even start the meet because of the points in diving. We'll wrap it up with this. You're headed down there uh, to Texas on Sunday. Just what do you expect out of your team uh, once you get down there and into the pool? Well, I expect a lot of toughness, and I think that they will be. They've been tough all year long, and I think that they're going to be that way when they get down there. They're not going to be afraid of, of the competition because the competition is really about the same as what we had at our, at our conference championship. And that's why I like being in the GLIAC because if you can do well in our conference, you can be tough, mentally tough in our conference, you're going to do, do well and be mentally tough at the national championships. Well, Coach, thank you very much for the time, and good luck Appreciate down it. in Texas this Thanks year. Thanks a lot, Matt. Appreciate it.